Why, well, hello there. Today we are going to talk about the book The Devil's Pocketbook by Ross Jeffrey. This is one of my most anticipated books of this year. I was super excited to read it. I first discovered this author. I was looking for book reviews on Josh Mallerman's book Ghoul in the Cave. He has a YouTube channel. I'll link that down below as well. And he did a review of it. And then he also has another video where him and Josh, they have like an interview and they talk and they do shots and it was pretty cool. And so I ended up subscribing to his YouTube channel and then eventually just followed him on a bunch of different social media. And so Josh Mallerman wrote the intro to this book and this book is about the pain of grief, what that does to you, the loss of a child. And it's about this couple that loses their child, Eric and Lara. They just go through all, you know, all the different phases of grief and what it's doing to the relationship and to them. And so they decide that they're gonna go and kind of just get away and take some time and go to this little seaside town and just try to recuperate and just clear their mind and take their child's ashes so they can spread them and just try to have a new start like what they're doing with their lives and all that and how to move forward and whatnot. The way he writes about the grief, how it's described is very like impactful and emotional. And they get to this town and they're out by the sea. They see this strange pod floating on the water called the Devil's Pocketbook or Mermaid's Purse. They end up jumping in the water and grabbing it and then within it there is a child. The child's name is Scylla or Scylla. I'm not sure how to say it. In my head, I think I was saying it as Scylla. It's probably Scylla. And so as this child comes into their lives, you know, they had this prior grief. And so this is an interesting conundrum of how it affects them, of how it affects Lara having this child come into their life. Like, you know, first they're like, okay, well, we should probably report this to the authorities and this, that, and the other. And as the story goes on, it gets very strange. It is a folk horror story. The writing is fantastic. The characters, you feel for their pain and their grief. And then the messed up stuff that starts happening, because you know, like, Okay, cool, now they found this child, and is this child gonna be part of their family? But it's a horror book, so you know stuff's gonna go sideways, upside down, and it's thrown out in the ocean. It gets crazy, and it is good. This book kept me up reading all freaking night long. I could not put it down. I don't know if I described it that well. So the quote that Josh Mallerman said about it too, says, you will grieve the grief in the devil's pocketbook. You will hear the hope, you will discover too, cruel wonder in a pod in a rocky bay, even as you think, Get away! Ross Jeffrey is two things you long for most in an author of horror. First, he's fearless. Second, he's giving. Giving you, the reader, all of that fear instead. And the synopsis of the book is Eric and Lara are in mourning for their daughter who was born incompatible with life. And so, to get away from their suffocating grief and the ever-present shadow that their daughter has cast in their lives since passing, and desperately trying to recover their increasingly rocky relationship, take a trip to the seaside town of Polpero in Cornwall. But no sooner are they arrive that they realize their grief cannot so easily be eluded. Drawn to the waters, and then, as I said, they find this devil's pocketbook with this child inside. And, you know, is it is the child a gift? Is this some weird delusion that they're having? There's something more sinister. Well, obviously, it's gonna be more sinister. This is a horror book. But there is, like, a weirdness about how once this child comes into their lives and feeding into the delusion and the things that they do the messed up stuff that happens and you got like the townsfolk and how weird stuff's going on in the night like one night eric's looking out the window and he sees like it's like one something in the morning and he sees these people with torches like going off down the coastal path and then they come back at like quarter to four in the morning and he's like what's up with that that's weird just the way people in town are behaving and they already seem to know that they have a daughter even though they showed up in the town without a daughter and just stuff's real weird. There's all this stuff like something's going on, the town kind of knows what's going on and then the towns some think one way and another think another way and I can't say too much without giving a lot away. So if you like folk horror stories by the seaside with strange happenings and strange townsfolk, stories that deal with the topic of grief how that affects people, then The Devil's Pocketbook might just be for you. I'll have a link down below for that as well. That is an affiliate link, so it's a great way to support the channel and to support indie bookstores. So if you are a fan of horror books, 
next video coming up will be about another horror book. So stick around, check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button. Come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.